check out this episode of Cutting Edge Health, Preventing Cognitive Decline. You really need to freeze your flax seeds and in the morning take a tablespoon, throw them in your coffee grinder or your herb grinder nice and fresh and put that ground flax in food or water each day. That freshly ground flax has much higher levels of omega-3 than using it any other way. Sometimes I used to take salmon eggs because salmon eggs are so high in omega-3s. Oh, absolutely. Yes, they are. And so are small fish. Yes. Small fish like sardines and anchovies, which aren't really everybody's thing, but those actually are a good source of omega-3s. The other is chia seeds, which I'm not a personal fan because they make everything gluey, but if you're into them, chia seeds are very good for you and rich in omega-3s. But you can also have good supplements. Do you see most of your patients struggling with omega-3s? I really do. I have I have literally had less than five people that have good omega-3 levels that are not on a supplement. I mean, mm-hmm. it's, it's difficult to keep high enough levels that you can do it just through your diet. Possible, but mm-hmm. difficult. Mm-hmm. So, so the inflammation levels from omega-3s are, omega-3s, I think of them like a fire hydrant. It's literally putting out the fire of Mm -hmm. inflammation in your blood vessels. So omega-3s are one of the first things that I look at to see, okay, your levels are low. Well, here you have inflammation. Well, we can fix this by putting you on a quality omega-3 by increasing the amount of Mm omega-3 in your diet. Inflammation can be caused though from other factors like Lyme disease or something. So does that also trigger in your mind, oh my gosh, this person has too much inflammation, not only in their heart, but possibly in their body. Absolutely. Unfortunately, infections can cause vascular inflammation. There's been recent studies linking the development of autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, even to infections such as Klebsiella or dental infections. 